hello friends today we are going to see how to connect mysql or php my admin you know database with you know golang so let's start so let us come to here and create new folder that's golang1 where we are going to write our golang project so let's open the, this one visual code vs code okay now it's open but before that you should have you know uh, this one installed that is uh, php my admin or mysql i have here uh, jamp installed that is xmpp i already have installed here if you don't have any idea about what is jamp uh, let me show you here okay uh, yeah xmpp i already have installed this which one uh, yeah this one i already have installed this on my system so you also go and first install this one first okay and then come back because I'm not going to show you how to install this jump in this video uh, you have to know about that okay uh, what happens when we install this jumps we get PHP my admin which is a uh, MySQL database in our system so I will show you how to run mysql or php my admin database in uh, my system so for that i need to write sudo ofit lmpp lmpp okay str start guys you should not that uh, <coughs> because i'm using linux pedora here so my you know process of starting um, jamp is little bit different if you are win uh, using windows then it will be different for you so you should know that guys first i have created a database here that is uh, uh, known as test test and inside the database i have created a table known as test okay this is the uh, table that i have created test here i got two data which i'm going to delete it now I have deleted it now it's empty here no data we have inside the table okay uh, so please note that we have a test database name database name is test and inside the test database we have a table named test yeah, the, the name is same don't be confused about that okay and now let's uh, let us start creating our goaling project okay let's clear the, uh, clear this first so first and foremost what uh, for almost uh, for mo what my pronunciation is not perfect so first and foremost we have to create main.go file which is the very beginning you know the, uh, which is the very first thing that we need to do and then we have to you know uh p a c k s package main we have to uh mention the package name here and after that what we need to do is we need to go mod init and then project name calling what is the name of our project i'm going to put it calling one okay now it's added and then uh the second thing we need to do here is uh to install the um, P, uh, mysql driver okay so from where you are going to get the mysql driver is just go to the google and search this one you know uh, you can search like uh, go mysql driver okay i think this is it so let us open this okay now here this is the go mysql driver so you can uh, note down this one go mysql driver we need to install that in our project and for installing that uh, just we need this command line here i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here on the project uh, terminal and then hit enter now it is installing yeah it is installed after that install we need to do go more tidy okay yeah now that's it we have installed the uh, you know mysql driver in our project so we have your go some go more token okay and now let us uh, because we're trying to do little bit of oops concept means like a whoops facility so 
um, although go does not support oops but we can do a little bit of oops kind of thing here in go so i will show you how to do it first we are going to create a folder named db and then inside the folder we are going to create a file named db the same we are going to put it okay and then inside it uh, db.go uh, we're going to uh, mention the package name psqg okay package db and after that uh, we're going to uh, in uh, do something like connect with the database now so okay to connect with the database we need to write something like db connect okay connect and db your Okay, this two is very important. And how to connect with the database? Let us go to the GitHub page of this MySQL uh, code driver. Uh, so let us come below down here, and we can see. Yeah, this one. This one we need. This this is the. This is how we connect with the MySQL. Okay, let us see it here yeah we just need this so here what we need is uh, okay uh, here we need to write the username username and password and here is the database name so what is my username uh, username of the, this one uh, this database that you have okay uh, I'm going to write my username that is root by default and uh, because I don't have any password my password is blank empty so I'm going to put it empty but if you have any password you can put it like uh, pass one two three whatever you want but in my case it's empty so I'm going to put it just empty and uh, here I have to put the name of database and that is test okay uh, I think something is wrong here uh, okay uh, this is not the one I think okay let us check it again okay okay I think we need to have this wait where is it I forgot mm -hmm. okay uh, what we are missing is we need to add here something like uh, like it should be root password and copyright and here we need to put this one TCP and localhost localhost so what is this localhost uh, this localhost is the you know uh, uh, you know URL of your this one that we are having here if you want to put the IP address you can put the IP address as well but I'm going to put it here host and this is the name of the database so if you put it save here uh, you know something it's not coming okay, then. And okay okay we need to put here something and that is import we have to import this and what do we have to import database and SQL okay so SQL and then the second one is this one github oh, here we can copy this from here itself where it is um, the yes here it is we have to copy this one we have to paste it here yeah no I think it's correct it's correct now I think something error is going on here did we collect invalid name. okay uh, okay I think I need I don't need to put this one here yeah now and what happened to this one follow could not import or driver no report no this packets sql often ok 
Skeletor-Test. Mm, let us quick fix it. Write something there called mod T I D Y. Mm, okay, yeah, now it's uh, now we have to uh, write this go mod tidy on our terminal if we got something, you know, if we have imported something after imported something. Okay, now here it is done. Now we need to go to the main. Okay, let's check the connection first. Funk main. Uh, sorry. Oh, okay. Now let us check the connection, and for that we are going to use FNT print. Uh, okay, wait, wait. This. Okay, this one. Uh, my SQL connected. Okay. So this will be print out if. Uh, the connection is you know uh, connect uh, done but uh, okay now db okay where, where, where is it okay now it's already imported here db dot uh, db connect yeah, it should be here in comma and db dot db error should be there first sorry db is error where is the error uh, this yeah db e double r this also should be there no? it's not auto responding db e double r i think it's correct it should be correct actually okay and Oh, I am sorry. It should be like db, db error. Okay, not equal to nil. Okay, it's important here. You know, calling panic. Otherwise, it will, uh, you know, uh, panic the db errors, db errors dot error. Yeah. And let's us let it let close it. Okay, how to close defer. Okay, and then uh, db dot. Okay, db connect. Close. Yeah, now it's done. So now if the connection is done, if it is connected, uh, connected, uh, then MySQL connected. It will show MySQL connected. But if it is not connected, then it will show something error. Okay. Let us run this on our terminal. Here. Okay. So go run. We can put it like this also. Uh, yeah, it's connected. My SQL connected. Okay, it's connected now. So let us go to our database and check out that we have a database name test, and inside the test database we have table name test. Inside the table, we don't have any data. You can see this blank your ID and name. So let's insert something to our database. So for that, let's you know comment it. I just want to comment it and let us uh, write something here uh, to insert. Okay. So um, yeah, insert comma error equal to it should be db and then uh, db in connect us uh, uh, db connect the query query and now here is the mysql command insert into we have a table name known as test and inside the test we have uh, columns name and we are going to put its values here something let us first it uh, john G -O -S -N. okay only for the testing purposes we are just putting it john and now we 
this is another important thing that we need to put error nil and then panic okay and then uh, what is there error dot error okay and let's close this default uh, insert yes okay awesome. okay let us now run this uh, comment uh, oh, sorry run this project okay it's showing nothing so uh, no error here so it should be done i think let us come to PSP my admin and refresh this table oh yeah here we have a john okay here we have a john now it is done we have inserted something to our database okay let us write something here again you john we can write uh, obama okay now let us run again this file yeah it's done now here we should uh, get the you know another uh, you know call, uh, row name obama yeah now yeah it's done so in this way guys we connect with uh, you know uh, mysql with uh, using the calling so i hope you have got you have understood how to use it so guys uh, that's it for today and thank you for watching